How's it going everyone? Matt Ashman here with Prairie State Tractor and boy do we have an awesome one today. How about a battle of the brands? Our 9RX 4-Track Series head-to-head -head against the leading competitor Case IH 580 Quad Track Series. We're going to stick these things side by side and do some competitive advantages and let you guys decide who's got the better tractor. Case IH 580 and a 9RX 590, very similar in horsepower to each other, so good, good comparables today. Case IH's platform, a 12.9 liter engine with horsepowers ranging from 470 to 620 horsepower. John Deere, our new JD14, 13.6 liter engine, horsepower ranges from 490 all the way up into 640 horsepower. John Deere also has its Intelli Intelligent Power Management System, or Power Bulge, giving you a 10% horsepower bump as the tractor needs that power. Case IH couples their horsepower in front of a 16 speed power shift transmission. Deer differs a little bit in the fact that they couple theirs to an 18 speed E18 with efficiency manager, giving you two programmable saved speed settings to push button change to instead of shifting gears all the way. All right, so let's talk about base weights and hydraulics. Case IH's platform, your base weight will change depending on the horsepower you select. So the lighter the horsepower, the lighter the tractor, the heavier the horsepower, the heavier the tractor. All of those weights hovering around the 53,000 pound mark. For hydraulics, Case has a standard 42 gallon per minute pump with an optional 57 or 113 gallon per minute pumps. On the greener side of things, John Deere's base weight packages do not change depending on the horsepower you select. They hover around the 57,000 pound mark. For hydraulics, we have a standard 55 gallon per minute pump and an optional 110 gallon per minute pump. So let's get into a really big piece of this, the track systems, what makes these tractors. On Case IH's platform, we have a shorter track. However, I want to say that compared to the Deer, your overall length of your track and footprint, they are identical between the two models. Case has a shorter track equating to a shorter belt. And another big thing on the Case tractors is their idler to ground distance. This measurement here to the ground is a lot more than Deer's, almost three times more. That will lead to a little bit less power to ground management for the horsepower, as well as weight distribution. That will change quite a bit. Let's take a look at our John Deere track system. As you can see, we physically have a taller track system. We have a 7.2% longer belt. That's longer belt life because of more material. As we get into our drive sprocket here, this is 10% bigger than the Case IH. We have a better grab and better guide lug life with that bigger wheel itself to manage the power. On the drive idlers here, on the bottom, like we discussed on the Case IH tractors, we have less of a distance from the bottom of our idler to the ground. That helps us put power to the ground more efficiently and with better weight distribution. Two big pieces with track tractors. On the Case, you might have noticed we had three bogey wheels. On the Deer system, we only have two. Two bigger bogey wheels, less maintenance, and they do a better job of managing where that track goes. Now let's talk about lights, because working at night is just as important as working in the day. On Case's best light package, you can get yourself 14 LED with four HID lights total, as seen here. Now, less lights means less nighttime visibility. On the John Deere product, our best light package, the ultimate visibility package, gets you 24 LED work lights as well as eight LED light strips for convenience. All right, so let's get in the operator stations of both these tractors. On the Case IH, our control layout, everything for the throttle is built into the lever here, the main lever itself, and you have to utilize a left-hand reverser up here on the steering column. A lot of the steering sticks out into the operator space, and it creates a circular windshield design all the way around us here inside the cab. Here in the John Deere cab, when I stick my arms out side to side, I can barely touch each window. Little wider than the case cab overall. We've got three really nice foot pegs and 25 degrees of swivel in this seat. The seat really turns around and the command arm moves to allow you to do that. For our controls on a John Deere tractor, everything is done with the right hand shifter selector, no left hand reverser to have to mess with when shifting ranges, gears, or directions. So that's a really quick 30,000 foot view perspective on both of these tractors. So we'll let you guys decide who's got the better product. Let us know what you think. That's it for this one, Matt Jr. signing off.